Hey guys, welcome back. It is time for a nail polish haul. These are purchases that I have uh, bought over the last few months, excluding uh, polishes that I've done dedicated reviews for, like spring, summer collections, um, things like that. So I'm not going to include those. You've seen those. But I have some polishes that I've purchased that are beautiful and I want to talk about them. So if you guys want to see a nail polish haul, then just keep watching. At this point, these are all swatched, so I will have pictures available for uh, all of them, with the exception of two of these guys. So this is the Butter London Glazed and Gorgeous Four Piece Glazing Nail Set. Are they beautiful? I got this at Kohl's. It was on clearance for ten dollars. Uh, when those polishes first came out, they were available at Ulta in its individual polishes, and I really wanted this guy. This is brassy. And they were this size, the I think they call them fashion size, their minis. And I wasn't going to pay $10 for a mini. But then when I saw that on, Col and on clearance at Kohl's and there were other colors in it and they looked pretty, I thought, okay, I'll get four polishes for $10. That's a better deal. Two of them I actually already gave away to a friend because they are, they're just her color. They're sort of those frosty, champagne colored polishes that I don't love. And uh, she loves those, so I gave those to her. But the, but the other one that I kept is called Seashell, and it's a bronze, burgundy, greenish, shifting polish. It's very pretty. It's not like the most amazing polish I've ever used. I really wanted brassy because this, this red, foily color was just lovely, but I like seashell as well. I do have two from Enchanted Polish. I'm not going in any order. They're in a bucket and I'm just like pulling them out, so. I do have two from Enchanted Polish. They have these yellow holographic boxes. They're so cool. Uh, I'm actually wearing Rainbow Relish today, this awesome like olive green holographic. This guy, it's fabulous. Oh, it just looks like a dirty olive green. It's so pretty, I love it. And it covers beautifully in two coats. The other one is called Sunflower Power and it is a yellow holographic. This one almost covers in one coat. It has an amazing formula and I love them. Let's talk about these guys from Essence. I bought these at Ulta. They were I think $2.99 and I just thought that they looked kind of cool. They're different shaped bottles in the classic Essence nail polish. I don't know why. But there are five shades. Um, this first one is called, is called Out of Space is the Place and it's a pearly white with a lot of pink and green shimmer. It's pretty cool. You can see the shimmer on the nail. Uh, this one does need three coats because it is a white with a lot of shimmer that sort of shears out the polish. It's really pretty. It's not, I don't like it as much as I was hoping that I would, but I do still like it. I was hoping to just be gobsmacked by it. Next is Across the Universe, and this is a purple to green sort of multi-chrome. I bought this to complete the collection. It's okay. It's pretty. I, I don't really love that type of polish that much, but it's, it's okay. Next is Space Glam. This is a magenta base with a ton of gold and burgundy burgundy and gold shimmer in here. This one is really pretty. It's it looks very glittery but it doesn't feel very glittery. The particles look large enough that it looks like it's going to be a bear to remove but it is not. And then we have Intergalactic Adventure. This is a purple to blue multi-chrome. I prefer this over the this guy but I, like, I just like this color more. Uh, but there's a lot of purple and like shiftiness head. And lastly we have We Will Spock You. This is a silver holographic polish. It's a scattered holographic polish. This is a little disappointing just because I wanted more, just more hollow in this. Or I wanted to look more hollow. It was okay. I have some from Moonshine Manny. I don't think I did a video on these. I think I forgot. Sorry. This is the houses collection that she did um, for Harry Potter. There are four colors. The first one is Hufflepuff, Just and Loyal, and a yellow polish with green and black and yellow glitter. 
Then we have Gryffindor, Nerve, and Chivalry, and this is a red jelly base with yellow, orange, and red glitter. And then we have Slytherin, Ambitious, and Cunning. This is a green shimmery base with silver flakies and holographic gl um, glitter throughout it. And then Ravenclaw, this beautiful blue with copper, bronze, and blue glitters. I really like the glitters in this one the best. I guess I blue. I also love like copper and blue too. Those are available now for purchase from moochamani.com and I know I took the Harry Potter quiz to find out what house I was because I don't know and I forgot so. This one from Color Club is kind of awesome. I purchased this at Walmart. It is a holographic polish. It's called Supernatural. There are six or eight of these guys and I'm still trying to figure out if they are the Halo Hues renamed or if they are new hollows. I'm really not sure but this is beautiful. It looks so vibrant on your nails. Well, it, it looks three-dimensional. It's so pretty and I love this. I think this one needed two coats. It had a really good formula and they were like six dollars. Also from Walmart, the, what is this called? Cosmic Chrome Collection. There were other colors but I just picked these four. This first one is Chrome on Over. This is the least chrome looking of the ones that I purchased. Uh, Infinity and Beyond, a blue. They look more like foils than chromes. Extraterrestrial, a green foil, and then the purple is Meteorite or Wrong, a nice bright purple chrome. I have two polishes from Rogue Lacquer. This is, if you're familiar with the brand Ever After, it is run by two people, Miranda and Rachel, and they have uh, been running the business on opposite ends of the country pretty much, so they have kind of split and um, I think Miranda is going to be running Ever After and then Rachel will be running Rogue Lacquer. She had a four piece collection for her initial launch and I purchased two of them. This is Grinds My Gears. It is a antique looking bronzy color with a ton of pink shimmer. This is so, oh, oh look at that pink shimmer. Really, really pretty. And then Retro Future, which is this sort of Statue of Liberty type green with copper green and brown flakies. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. I love this so much and these both had really nice formulas. I think this is from the Sugar Rush month, which was February. This is from Supermoon Lacquer. It's called Witch Tastes Sweeter and it's a burnished green, a dark green with um, red shifty shimmer and green shimmer and it, this is really beautiful. This is my first experience with Super Moon Lacquer and I quite like it. This is a brand that's been on my list to try for a while. And then Night Owl Lacquer, this is called Taste Like Purple. This is a really gorgeous vibrant purple. Um, it's got some holographic glitter in there in a purple base. It's, it's very pretty. It's very vibrant. Um, these three are from the Space theme. Um, I can't remember what it's called. I Love Space or something. This is for Moonshine Manny. This is called Ludicrous Speed. It's based on the movie Space Pals. And this is a dusty blue base with a multi-chrome shimmer and chameleon flakies. I don't know why I'm saying like that. Chameleon flakies. This is really pretty. There's some larger flaky chunks and smaller flakies in here so there's... it's kind of a surprise every time I use it. And then I have Age of Aquarius from Northern Star Lacquer, this vibrant green, and this looks sort of similar to this. Actually, it's even brighter. So it's Color Club. It is a... I, I call these foils. I, they're not foily really, but there's a shimmer with a ton of multicolored sh micro shimmer in here. And then from Fair Maiden, this is called Cosmic Confection. And this is fabulous. It, this is so beautiful. It's a turqu dark, deep turquoise with, with purple shifting shimmer and then turquoise glitter. Just like all packed in. It's, it's, it's beautiful. 
I have three from the books theme, which was April? Was that April? No, March. That was March. The first is from Poetry Girl, Poetry Cowgirl Mail Lacquer. This is called 1910, and this is inspired by the old, old encyclopedias. I just thought that was so cool. It's a dark, dark uh, evergreen with gold shimmer and I just love the inspiration and the label and the everything is it just matches very very nice I think this is her actual like all the time label but it just fits the theme so well I have one from polish this is the land of tears and this is a this is an indigo base with green shifting shimmer and silver holographic glitter spread throughout here this oh my word this is so beautiful I don't know why I don't own a lot more polish polish it's gorgeous and then last from March is one from Scofla I, I'm not sure if it's Scofla or Scofla this is my first try of this brand somehow I've heard of this brand for years and this is called the Lady Amalthea Amalthea it is a minty sort of dusty green with a ton of purple and blue and pink assorted glitters in here and you can't see that in the video. I, I did also purchase the Nails Ink Sparkle Like a Unicorn Nail Polish Duo. This is a great deal for this. You get two full-size polishes. This set is $15 but each of these individually is $15 so you're basically getting a free polish. I like the box. I'm not going to keep them in the box but I kind of want to. Um, this is called Rainbow Wishes and this is called Dream Dust and they both uh, have nice formulas, they apply nicely, have no issues. I never really have problems with nails ink. I, I quite like their polish. Let me know what sort of fun nail polish you guys have been buying lately. Uh, if you've been purchasing anything from Polish Pickup, oh my goodness, it gets better every month. It is so good. I have swatches of these on my Instagram. If you guys want to see more info about some of the polishes, check my Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you guys in my next video.